Good evening, early morning, everybody. It's January 28, 2024. I hope everybody's doing well. This is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading. Well, on January 11, I posted a video, Evidence, Nonprofit Cat Rescue Building. Uh, sprayed with smart dust this morning. And I posted a video on January 11 about it, and you could see this thick dust you could hardly even see in the building that they sprayed. And then I provided evidence on what that dust looked like on January 13. Well, sometime this evening, sometime between 5 and 6 p.m., which is usually the changing of the guards here in Jackson County, Kentucky, where the criminals change guard, meaning one gets dropped off and one gets picked up. Somebody entered the cat's building, probably while I was in the outer field, dumping firewood that was pulled off of my trees overnight. They sprayed more of that dust. I will post a video tomorrow of what it looks like inside the building. It was starting to clean up. I was vacuuming it every day, cleaning their bedding, cleaning all the shelves. The dust was so thick, it was all over the windows, all over the curtains, which I started to take down and wash. And then some loser came into the building, trespassed my property, illegally entered the nonprofit building and sprayed more of that dust. Seems like there's assault everywhere. I've heard from other people who have been poisoned and sprayed within the last couple of weeks. So that's January 11, and now it's January 28th. Within one month, somebody's illegally entered my nonprofit building and sprayed this disgusting dust everywhere. They did it inside the chicken coop. I spent so much time in the last two days cleaning out the chicken coops. They keep spraying this disgusting, thick, pithy dust. But anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I just heard that 700,000 truckers on Monday will be heading towards the Texas, Texas border to help out. And this is phenomenal, guys. Just know that um, while this is happening, please stock up on any food or supplies or cat, pet food that you need. Because even though it might be on the shelves today, if the truckers aren't around to be making deliveries to all of your local grocery stores, um, you know, even supply stores like Walmart, uh, Walmart Home Depot, all those stores... If the truckers are not around to make deliveries, those supplies are going to run thin. So, you know, whatever it is that you need to purchase, that you're thinking about buying, that you haven't bought, buy it now. So anyway, um, I was watching a video earlier about parasites. And it occurred to me that the people that stalk us, the psychopaths, the addicts, the... Uh, the, the people that are addicted to us, the gang stalkers, they're called, right? The community stalkers, the, one, the, va the energy vampires, they're very much like parasites. So I wanted to get a really good definition for parasites. So I went to my, my favorite AI, <laughs> right? So I asked, what do parasites parasites do to health and how are they harmful what does the word parasite mean so the word parasite originates from the greek word parasitos which combines the word para which means beside and sitos which means food to mean one who eats at the table of another this term accurately reflects the relationship between parasites and their hosts, where the parasite benefits 
at the expense of the host's health and well-being. So the parasites are the gang stalkers, the community-based agents, the fusion center operatives, the little controllers with their joysticks pushing the buttons to harass us with energy weapons. So they are the parasites. They're benefiting at the expense of the targeted people to affect our health and well-being. So parasites are organisms that live on or inside other organisms, the host. So I'm going to say the target, okay? Let's say the parasites are psychopaths that live on or inside target the target and derives nutrients or benefits at the target's expense. They can be harmful to health in various ways. There's a nutrient drain. Parasites consume nutrients from the host's body, which can lead to malnutrition and deficiencies in the host. Okay, so parasites, gang stalkers, consume the nutrients, right, the benefits from the target's body. You know, the louche that we were talking about on Renata's interview of me. And one of her subscribers mentioned the word louche, that they're after our louche. They, they, they want us to be miserable like them. So they steal our joy. So it's a nutrient drain from the target's body, which can lead to malnutrition and deficiencies in the host, meaning the target. Tissue damage. Some parasites cause physical damage to the tissues or organs they inhabit leading to inflammation, scarring, and other complications. Toxin production. Certain parasites produce toxins as byproducts of their metabolism, which can directly harm the host's cells or disrupt normal bodily function. So if we look at the toxin production, we can look at the gang stalkers as being toxic people. They are toxic. They produce a toxic environment as a byproduct of their aura or lack of it, which can directly harm a target. Immune response. The presence of parasites, gang stalkers, can trigger an immune response in the host, the target, leading to inflammation, allergic reactions, or autoimmune disorders. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely allergic to these creatures. Transmission of diseases. Many parasites are vectors for diseases, meaning they can transmit infections from one host to another. This can include diseases such as malaria, Lyme disease, or various types of worms. So they go into your homes, these parasites, these private contractors, these infraguard losers, these three masons, they're parasites, they are vectors for disease. They actually carry around vials of bugs with them. Could you imagine? What do you do for a living? Go tell your mother, I grew up to carry vials of blood, pus, urine. What else do they carry? Insects, little teeny spiders, ants, flies, larvae. Imagine doing that for a living. Well, yes, they intentionally transmit disease. These parasites, these gang stalkers are vectors for disease. They can transmit infections from one host to another. This can include diseases such as malaria, Lyme disease, or various types of worms, or they'll throw smart dust in your nonprofit building. You can hardly see in that building. It's a cloud of dust. So yes, so we can make the correlation between parasites and stalkers and how they are harmful to the host, which is you and me, the targets. And once again, 
parasite is one who eats at the table of another. This term accurately reflects the relationship between parasites and their hosts, where the parasite benefits at the expense of the host's health and well-being. They're energy vampires. They're parasites. So anyway, this is Lorraine Alternative Homesteading. I hope everybody's doing well. And please remember to hit the thumbs up, like, comment, share down below. And um, I hope you enjoy this little beautiful little mini painting by Linda Russell. It's called Spirit Guide, January 6, 2024. And it is an original. And here you go. Signing off for now.